Imagine throwing a baseball pitch at 100 miles per hour. Now that's a totally insane thing to do, right? Well, definitely not to the set of brutal baseball wizards we will discuss in this video. Simply put, these guys are magicians. They don't hesitate to unleash sheer brute force upon the diamond whenever they get the chance, and it's easy to see why they're every batter's worst nightmare. It's like these hurlers possess some kind of mystical power. It's like a gift that makes their pitches so hard to see and almost impossible to contact. Little wonder no one ever wants to go against them. You already know to expect some brutal, chaotic, and intimidating pitches whenever these people step up to the mound. Their fastballs are like meteors streaking across the night sky, leaving batters both awestruck and powerless in their wing. Who are these flame-throwing titans? How did they become this skilled with their pitches? Well, if these are the questions running through your mind too, then you're in luck today, because this video will consider some of baseball's hardest throwing pitchers of all time. But that's not all. We will also look at their various unique stories and career achievements. So ensure to watch till the end for the firecracker we have at number one. Number five, Bob Feller. Of course, it is only appropriate that we start this list with the man who blazed a trail like no other in MLB. And yes, it's the legendary Robert William Andrew Feller. Simply known to the baseball world as Bob Feller, this star player was born on November 3, 1918, and he would later go on to become a legend whose name is synonymous with blazing speed and untamed talent. Indeed, it always seemed like there was more to this player than met the eye, and it was clear from the beginning that he was destined for greatness. To baseball followers who watched him play, what set Bob Feller apart was his sheer dominance on the mound and the power that his pitches carried. Feller's fastball was not just fast, it was a phenomenon. It defied convention, and you'd definitely be awestruck watching it twist and turn mid-air. Ultimately, the ball left batters bewildered and helpless in its wake, and they often could not do much other than stare in shock as it sped past them. No, it wasn't just a pitch. It was an enigma, a force that people could barely comprehend. There was more to Bob Feller than just a blazing fastball. You see, this player possessed the intellect of a smart strategist, alongside the heart of a lion. And, of course, this was a lethal combination that made him both a gifted athlete and an actual game titan. Bob Feller wasn't just a player, he was a formidable force, a titan of the mound who faced and conquered the best hitters of his era with remarkable ease. His pitching prowess was so legendary that it transcended the ballpark and even graced the cover of Time magazine. Now, when it comes to records, we can easily say that Feller represented quite well too. This icon etched his name in history by setting a new standard for strikeouts in a game with an astonishing 18. This icon's right arm was an absolute marvel to everyone who watched him play. And here's where the story gets even more interesting. Feller's power was so amazing that it led the league to form a commission determined to unravel the mystery of his pitch's speed. In a daring experiment to test the strength of this monster pitcher's speed, a Harley-Davidson motorcycle was recruited as a makeshift speedometer. It was given a 10-foot head start and roared at a formidable 86 miles per hour. Yet, when the dust settled, it was revealed that Feller's pitches blazed an astonishing 98.6 miles per hour. But that was just the beginning. Another testing method would later unveil a new mind-boggling fact. Feller's pitches clocked in at a jaw-dropping 104 miles per hour. By the way, Bob Feller's legacy extended far beyond the baseball diamond. When the world was plunged into darkness by the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Feller answered the call of duty by joining the military. He didn't settle for a mere token role. Instead, he demanded to be on the front lines, refusing any non-combat positions that would have kept him away from the action. As a gunner on the USS Alabama, this gallant soldier stood shoulder to shoulder with his comrades, participating in significant battles between the Allied forces and Imperial Japan. Of course, his courage and selflessness made him the first professional athlete in the USA to volunteer for military service. After returning from World War II, Feller resumed his baseball career, playing many more seasons before retiring. In the end, his final stats were mind-numbing, with 266 wins and 2,581 strikeouts. Yet there was an unspoken truth about this truly iconic player. Had he not sacrificed years of his career for the war effort, he would have easily notched 100 more victories and maybe an additional 1,000 strikeouts. Number 4. Nolan Ryan In Major League Baseball, one name often shines brighter and stands taller than many others, and it's none other than Lynn Nolan Ryan Jr., the man they finally dubbed the Ryan Express. 
From the tender age of 12, Nolan Ryan was already a name on the lips of baseball enthusiasts, but little did anyone know that he would go on to etch himself as a true legend in MLB history, a hero for the ages. What sets this outstanding player apart wasn't just his meteoric rise in the game, it was his remarkable career endurance. After a staggering 27 major league seasons, he still unleashed fastballs that brushed the 100 mile per hour mark. And in one of his later seasons as a starter, he unleashed thunderous fastballs at a blistering 96 miles per hour, leaving batters more than two decades his junior bewildered and overwhelmed. Regarding hurlers capable of reaching the mythical 100 mile per hour mark, Nolan Ryan was not just among them, he reigned supreme. Over his extraordinary 27 year career, there's no doubt that he hurled more pitches at that velocity than anyone else. Plus, beyond his legendary fastball, which was aptly named the Ryan Express, he possessed one of the most devastating curveballs in the history of the sport. But then, what truly defined Nolan Ryan were the numbers. Oh, those incredible stats that etched his name as a god in the game. He struck out more batters than any other pitcher, with 5,714 strikeouts. And even more astonishing was his record of seven no-hitters, which is a feat that may forever stand unmatched. This baseball icon allowed fewer hits per nine innings than anyone in history, with an astounding average of 6.56. No doubt, opposing batters struggled mightily, hitting a mere 204 against him. Plus, despite often toiling for underachieving teams for most of his career, he still managed to amass 324 victories. Indeed, Ryan's record of 383 strikeouts in a season and six seasons with over 300 strikeouts each tell a story of dominance that only a few can rival. And in the realm of intimidating pitchers, there's barely been anyone more significant than Nolan Ryan. Well, unless you were squared up against the equally fearsome Randy Johnson. Number 3. Randy Johnson Randall David Randy Johnson can only best be described as a giant among giants. Standing tall at an imposing 6 foot 10 inches, this terrific player was aptly nicknamed The Big Unit, a name that struck fear into the hearts of batters across the league. When he wound up to throw, it was as if his left arm had embarked on a journey halfway to home plate before releasing its devastating payload. But it wasn't just his stature that set Randy Johnson apart, it was his unorthodox approach to pitching. Instead of the traditional over-the-top delivery, Johnson unleashed his arsenal from a three-quarter position. Of course, this became a terror to hitters, especially the left-handed ones. And with his wild, flowing mullet, burly mustache, and intimidating presence on the mound, Randy cut quite a striking figure too. As for his career, Randy's journey in the big leagues had its ups and downs. He threw a no-hitter early in his career, but his erratic control often led to walks that cost him games. However, one man saw beyond the struggles, and it was none other than Nolan Ryan, a legend in his own right. After recognizing this promising talent's potential, Ryan arranged a meeting that would change the course of Randy's career. The legend gave Randy a simple yet transformative advice. Focus on where you plant your feet when delivering a pitch, and that was it. But then, with this wisdom in mind, Johnson emerged as a dominant force on the mound. The advice was so effective that in a crucial 1992 showdown against Ryan's own Texas Rangers, Randy unleashed his newfound prowess, striking out 18 batters and securing the victory. However, even though Randy Johnson would occasionally unleash 100 mile per hour thunderbolts, his fastball didn't make him truly formidable. Instead, it was his devastating slider that struck terror into the hearts of batters. He would retire as the second highest strikeout leader in history, with a staggering 4,875 strikeouts, sharing that elite tier with his mentor Nolan Ryan. Plus, his six seasons with 300 or more strikeouts is another testament to his dominance in the game. Randy would go on to ensure that his name was written in MLB history with not one but two no-hit games, one of which was like the rarest of gems in baseball, it was a perfect game. And let's not forget his five Cy Young awards, second only to the great Roger Clemens in Major League history. Number 2. Justin Verlander One fantastic thing about this unique player's story is that even while still active, Verlander has already carved an impressive legacy. Yet, the prospect of what lies ahead is nothing short of spine-chilling for his competitors. 2007 marked Justin Verlander's arrival on the grand stage, where he wrote his name in history with a resounding no-hitter. That season, he notched an impressive 18 wins, earning him the coveted American League Rookie of the Year award. From that moment on, it became clear that he was destined for greatness. What really sets Verlander apart is his vast arsenal of skills. His fastball is a thing of awe, a rocket that ranges from 94 to a blistering 102 miles per hour, leaving batters bewildered in its wake. 
and to complement this formidable fastball, he wields a curveball that is as nasty as they come. Plus, while his attributes evoke memories of Nolan Ryan, his pitching motion points back to another right-handed flamethrower, the legendary Dwight Gooden, who also once lit up the radar guns at 100 miles per hour. Just how good is Verlander? Well, in 2011, he ascended to the pinnacle of pitching excellence, clinching a Cy Young award and also getting the rare triple crown of pitching in the American League. That season, he had led the league in strikeouts and in wins. Plus, he still boasted the lowest earned run average. Number 1. Aroldis Chapman Did you think that we would end this list without mentioning the unquestioned champion of hard and speedy pitches? Well, you thought wrong. Aroldis Chapman was born on February 28, 1988 in Cuba, and this towering sinewy left-hander has gone on to rewrite the very definition of a fastball. Chapman, known by the awe-inspiring monikers of the Cuban Missile and the Cuban Flamethrower, burst onto the scene with an arm that defied the laws of physics. He made history with a pitch that clocked in at an astounding 105.1 miles per hour, a feat that sent shockwaves through the baseball world. Plus, to prove that this was no fluke, Chapman has gone on to repeatedly unleash his lightning bolt of a fastball over and over again, often leaving both batters and radar guns in total shock. But then, what really sets this true legend apart is his extraordinary speed and his evolution as a pitcher. As he matured, he dialed back his ferocity just slightly, yet his four-seamer still blazes the path at an average of 98.3 miles per hour. And as if that weren't enough, he introduced the sinker into his arsenal. It's a pitch that averaged 100.7 miles per hour in 2021. This sinker, a weapon of pure devastation, often defies all attempts at contact by opposing batters. In 2021, it was nothing short of unhittable, with a flawless record of 0 for 28, and accompanied by an astonishing 20 strikeouts, plus a mind-boggling 52.8% whiff rate. Now, there's no way you could beat that, or can you?